Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you a simple example of using the Behringer Wing MIDI controls to control an external source. So uh, I'm gonna program one of the user-defined keys to send a MIDI out signal over USB. In my case, I'm using Mad Mapper, which is a lighting uh, program. This could apply to many pieces of software. Uh, it can work with ProPresenter through uh, a MIDI con converter. It can work with programs like Light Key for lighting, different things. So I'm going to show you this example of pushing a MIDI note out using a user-defined key on the wing over to Mad Mapper and how to set that up. So let's look at the settings on the wing first. So the first thing we need to do is enable MIDI. So I'm going to go to Setup. You'll likely end up in the General tab under Setup. We're going to go to Remote. And you can see all of your options for MIDI remote control. So there's quite a few options here for both in and out control of MIDI on the Behringer wing. So for this example, I'm gonna enable external MIDI control via USB. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. This is gonna allow me to send a MIDI signal out the USB port of the wing, and I have that USB cable plugged into a Mac. All right, so we have that set up. Now I'm gonna set up my button. So on my user-defined uh, buttons over here, I'm gonna go to an open page, I'm gonna click view, and I'm gonna just set up this first button here. I'm going to scroll down to MIDI note push, okay, and I'm going to choose channel 4 and choose note 0, okay. So this uh, button now is sending MIDI note 0 through MIDI channel 4. I'm going to go ahead and name this just MIDI for now. All right, so I got my button set up. Let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you the quick configuration there. All right, so on the computer, uh, like I said, I'm using Mad Mapper. So the first thing you want to do is plug in that USB cable, restart Mad Mapper, and then if we go into preferences, you should see your wing ports one through four here under your MIDI preferences. So that will just show up automatically when the wing is plugged in via USB. So make sure those are enabled to receive MIDI commands. All right, so I've got a bunch of stuff set up in Mad Mapper. Um, but just for instance, I'm going to do a quick scene here and do a quick color change. Okay. So I just have a basic scene set up here. I'm going to add it to an open queue. All right, so I have a scene set up in Mad Mapper. So again, this can work in any software. You just have to have a scene and lighting software or whatever that you want to trigger. I'm going to add a MIDI control to this scene. And my program has a learn function, which makes it really easy. You could obviously uh, fill this out. So I'm just going to hit learn. And then I'm going to pop back over to the Behringer wing and I'm gonna hit my button and it should pick up the settings that we need. So I'm gonna press that and you see it did learn it. So just to illustrate here, I'm gonna to go to a different scene. This might be a little hard to see. Yeah, so you can see this different scene here and we should see it change when I press my button. So now it's hooked up. I'm gonna go over here to the wing, press my MIDI button and we should see the scene change on the computer. Boom. So that has the wing over MIDI controlling in this case, Mad Mapper could control any various uh, sets of software that can take MIDI commands in. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.